This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Good morning to you. The South Floyd Raiders will start their football season this Friday night at home. They'll welcome in Betsy Lane and they'll start fresh with a brand new coach. Josh McKinney with the next pigskin preview in our 40 teams in 20 days series. For the third consecutive season in 2014, the South Floyd Raiders achieved their goal of hosting a playoff game. But for the third consecutive season, they came up on the losing end, falling to the Fairview Eagles. Probably the interception I threw in the game and we got beat. And that's just my motivation to push harder this year. It's my senior year. I sent a lot of my close buddies home on that throw that I made. So it's just making me work harder this year to not make that same mistake in the playoff game. I mean, a lot of these guys are just coming back with a lot of heart from it. I mean, we watched a lot of seniors shed a lot of tears because of that one game. Uh, it's never been done before at South Floyd, and I really think this team can do it with the athletes we have. This season, things may look a little different on Hi-Hat. Not only is there a new coach, but nearly every starting lineman graduated. Well, they graduated about uh, 15 players, and out of those 15, approximately 10 were linemen. Uh, lost every starter except for three. And while the line may be young and inexperienced, there is some veteran leadership at the skilled positions. We got new coaches, speed, and we're young, but it could be a good thing. We knew we had some skill positions, some speed. Uh, that's kind of the way I wanted to gear my offense and defense toward uh, what we knew we had. Where they will look to run their way into the second round of the playoffs for the first time in program history. In Floyd County with the South Floyd Raiders, Josh McKinney for WYMT Mountain Sports. All right, thank you, Josh. The Mountain Top 10 Pigskin Preview Show airs this Thursday, 7 o'clock on WYMT. That will conclude our 40 teams in 20 days series. We'll rank the teams, show you the stories, and show you the mess ups. The blooper reel. Again, this Thursday, August 20th, on the eve of the 2015 16 sports overtime season. Well, the Cincinnati Reds out in Los Angeles closing out a four-game set with the Dodgers on Sunday. And then it's back to Cincy for a 10-game home stretch. Zach Greinke on the mound for the Dodgers. Here you go top five, no score. Tucker Barnhart at the disc sends a foul ball twisting down the left field line. And whoa! There goes the Dodgers ball boy. Tries to make a leaping grab. That's not working. He ends up on his back. Take another look. Oh. Better than a face plan. He may need a, a session with the chiropractor, though. Let's go bottom five. Reds lead 1-0. Jock Peterson. What up, Jock? Off of Anthony DiScalafani, 23rd Jack of the Year for Jock. Very next batter. Pitcher versus pitcher. It's Grinky off of DiScalafani. Back-to-back blast for the Dodgers. That's Grinky's second of the year. Dodgers lead 2-1. They actually lead the entire National League with 146 homers, 12 more than they had all of last season with 44 games still remaining in the year. At top nine, Tucker Barnhart grounds out. Reds lose 2-1. to one. All right, before we go this morning, we'll wrap up our pigskin previews this week. As I mentioned earlier, and the sports overtime season will begin Friday night. Uh, but first, I was out at Non Central yesterday getting the Patriots preview. And after the interviews, I said, boys, let's ball. And then here's how that went. We got out there and... This is my first attempt. This old Brad Chapin's guarding me, and yeah, I don't even get off the line. I got my Nikes on, not my spikes on, and this is what not wearing cleats will do to you. It got even worse later. My turn on defense. Chapin's making moves, little jab step. Oh, I got burned. Yeah, yeah. All right, my turn on offense again. Set, put. Quarterback Cameron Jones with the rocket. <laughs> That's right. How do you like me now? I did not uh, receive any illegal benefits during this and will not be joining the not central football team. I think I can, you know, maybe help the Patriots out this season. I have a little bit of chemistry with Cam, don't you think? That's first look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.